So as I mentioned, um, this is something where we might consider for the open or the closed sandwich technique. And I get so many questions about the open and closed sandwich. So I'm gonna talk about the difference between the two and sort of how you're going to place the restoration a little bit differently. And we'll also talk about the indications why you might consider open sandwich versus closed sandwich. I don't think one sandwich fits all, if you will. So the open sandwich technique, you can kind of see a picture of it on the left here. And you can see that glass ionomer is placed um, all the way to the cavo surface margin interproximally. And generally speaking, I bring the glass ionomer just to the bottom of the contact point or just below the contact point. And so I'll place it on the um, pulpal floor and then down into the proximal box all the way to the contact or slightly below the contact and then I will restore my contact and the rest of the tooth structure with composite. So you prep the tooth, place cavity conditioner if you're using a glass hybrid restorative, place your um, glass you know RMGI or your glass hybrid restorative, cure if it's an RMGI, just kind of hang out and wait for it to set if you're using a glass hybrid because it is an auto polymerizing material. And then you move forward with your bonding and place your composite. The closed sandwich though is a little bit different. The closed sandwich you're using your glass ionomer or your glass hybrid restorative material more so as a dentin replacement. So you can kind of bulk fill the material in there to replace the dentin, but you're um, basically all of your cavo surface margins, including your interproximal contact and proximal box, are all restored with composite. Now that sounds all well and good, but why would we consider one over the other. Well, this is where I think um, it becomes a little bit more helpful. So open sandwich, I think is great if you have margins that are deep, margins that are in dentin. If you really are having a tough time isolating this tooth, um, if you have, I have, um, especially I see older patients, some of my class twos all the way extend down onto the root surface. Open sandwich is awesome for that because glass hybrids really bond really nicely chemically to dentin and to cementum. Now, I've meant, I will mention this again later, but um, one feature, if you will, of a glass hybrid restorative is that they don't have the same acid resistance as a composite or as a, re a resin modified glass ionomer. So when we're talking about the environment in which we're placing our restorations, if you're able to um, make recommendations to neutralize or manage your patient's oral environment, awesome to have a glass hybrid restorative material exposed to the oral environment. Having said that, if you have glass hybrids that seem like they erode away over time and you say, gosh, you know, I don't like these materials because they erode away, it's actually interesting because they continue to release fluoride in neutral pH and also they will release fluoride almost to a greater extent in an acidic pH. So it's almost like the restoration itself is sacrificing itself to keep the tooth healthy. So although the restorative material looks like it's eroding away, you're not seeing secondary caries or anything in these instances. So it's actually a cool feature, although we might have to go back and either repair it or um, you know, replace any sort of contour that we've lost due to an acidic oral environment. Also, I'm very, very much into making sure my curing light um, can do what I expect of it. So if for some reason you just can't access your prep well and you just don't think that your curing light's doing its job or it can't do its job because maybe your prep is so deep, then open sandwich is an awesome solution for you. Closed sandwich, remember that's kind of the dentin replacement, but you're sealing all of the exposed um, cavo surface margin in composite. Well, this would be if your um, preparation is completely in enamel. So that's a, a great option to use composite for that because composite reliably bonds to enamel very well. Um, if you can isolate the tooth really well and you can get, um, and you can dry it reasonably well and, and you can get a reliable um, bond with your dentin bonding agent and your composite resin, closed sandwich is a great way to go. If you just don't think you're going to be able to control or um, 
your patient might not be really reliable when it comes to your preventive recommendations and you say you know what I don't want to have to go back and um, worry that this restoration isn't going to hold up in an acidic oral environment well closed sandwich might be the better way to go and also um, as I've already mentioned about the curing light I'll probably mention it again at nauseum I can't help myself um, but if you have adequate access with your curing light and your materials all line up and all your ducks are in a row closed sandwich is a really, really great way to go.